Well, today, hundreds walked from downtown Indy to the Kennedy King Park to celebrate Juneteenth, the federal holiday marking the day that enslaved people learned of their freedom. As Fox 59's Eric Graves explains, marchers had a message about peace in the city following yet another violent weekend. Freedom. It's so powerful. Make some noise. Hundreds of people of all ages had different feelings as they made their way north from downtown Indy to the Kennedy King Park for the Juneteenth Peace Walk. Here we go. Juneteenth is a holiday that, you know, they haven't learned a lot about in school, so this is a day that's dedicated to Juneteenth. Um, it gives us a platform to teach our kids about their own history. It's that we can reflect on the past and look forward to the future. And these young men right here, they have a future. Beyond the celebration and history behind Juneteenth was another mission to send a message of peace to a community stricken with gun violence. I think it's much needed with everything going on. Indianapolis has seen more than 100 homicides this year, and there were several shootings again this weekend, including one involving a 15-year-old victim on the west side. Um, a lot of these young men out here are affected by that gun violence that happened this week, and that's been happening all year. Leaders like Kareem Hines of New Boy Youth Mentoring say it's important to show kids the alternatives to violence, like this march. This shows them that people care. People sh that, that people actually show up and support them and encourage and motivate them. And for nine-year-old Carter, who you see there at the front of the line, this day reminds him he can be whatever he wants when he grows it's up. It's just really fun because, like, you can see everybody here. It feels, like, just nice. Eleven-year-old Ian said the same, saying this march made him feel powerful. My, my dream is to be an architect. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be when I grow up. On the north side, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News.